Hello YouTube, it's FerrariMan601 here. Just thought I'd do a little bit of a tech hack video for you, if anyone is so inclined. What you see right here is a typical internal CD-ROM, DVD, DVD burner drive. It's a rewritable drive. Came stock with my uh, Dell XPS 8400, which you see down there. Anyway, I had to remove it yesterday because uh, I had the need to install a third hard drive in the machine, and there were three Actually, there were four uh, spots on the motherboard for a drive, but uh, the CD-ROM was taking up one of them because, as you can see, it's a SATA drive. The uh, input's right there. Well, interestingly enough, I thought uh, I would try this out yesterday, and it turns out it works. Right here, I've got the ends, the, uh, the power, and the data cables for an external SATA uh, adapter. So this allows me to hook up SATA drives and uh, actually other types of hard drives as well with the other jack that this uh, thing has externally to computers without having to install them internally, uh, connect them directly to the machine's motherboard, etc. So I thought I would try it with my uh, CD-ROM drive because there's nothing wrong with the drive. I just had to take it out because I physically had no more space inside the machine. So uh, I'll show you what happens pretty cool. Okay, so we've got our power and data cables connected to the back of the CD-ROM. Spin it over this way so you can see better in the front of the drive. I'll flip the switch on my uh, power strip over here. So the, uh, everything goes into focus. There we go. Well, it's live. So we've got power. And uh, let's see, I'll open up my computer here. So you can have a look. And you can see that the drive is recognized already by my computer. Just to show you I'm not tricking you here, I'll turn the power off on the power strip and it disappears. Drive's back on. And it should come back. There it is. Just to show you that this will actually function as a CD-ROM drive, here's a just a random disk that I had sitting around the drivers for uh, my desktop. Hit the button. See the tray opens up just as it uh, normally would. CD-ROM out of this paper sheathing with one hand ain't that easy. All right, put it in. Close the tray. Should be able to hear. Spooling up just as normal. And what do you know? Autoplay comes up. There's the CD. There are all the files on it. Just an interesting thing that I just had the random idea to do yesterday. And uh, it works. You can run a, an internal CD-ROM drive as an external, provided that you have the necessary hardware to do so. So yeah, if you're running out of space inside your computer chassis, uh, because you're loading it up with accessories, hard drives like I have, whatever, this is a feasible option for you. Just saying. Because a lot of people don't use their, um, their optical drives anymore for a lot of things. CDs are pretty much becoming obsolete. So if you're looking to get up some more space in your... Uh, in your desktop computer, this is an option. And uh, this uh, this external adapter to run hard drives externally, this cost me about 20 bucks on the internet. So it's really a feasible and cheap option. So anyway, thanks for watching and see you soon.